Hi everyone, I'm here at the spot. The squirrel just got there because I dropped some peanuts. Red is here. Bluey was here collecting peanuts. And Buck is on his way. I just spotted Buck down there, down the hill. Coming. Oh, I have bugs on me already. Just started. Let me get the spray. Hold on, guys. The bug just started. Uh, the spray comes in handy. No, Buck, it's okay. Hi, big boy. You ready? All right. The chipmunk came here and dropped the cup. So the chipmunk's been here. I don't know if it's Simon or I would say Alvin. The one I'm going to name the one that lives by my way. Call him Alvin. Hi, Buck. Guys, the weather was crazy yesterday. All day, on and off, like every, like maybe like it would happen like one hour straight and then it wouldn't rain for two hours, but it was thundering windy like crazy that's why the dirt looks all dark because it's everything is wet i had to bring out my cloth for the crate you ready you ready big boy here i got your peanuts i even got strawberries in there for him because yesterday i forgot to bring out his strawberries for dinner time which i was so mad i was like damn it the poor guy he doesn't even have butternut squash right now and i forgot the strawberries too so I put the strawberries, I mixed it up with his breakfast this morning because I wanted him to have it. So Buck is here this morning. I threw peanuts on the floor and the corn for the birds and the squirrels. Yep, so this one is not Simon because I've been watching him where he runs. He runs straight my way like towards our property so he lives somewhere on our property i just don't know where honestly i don't know exactly where did you just drop stuff yes you did what did you drop you dropped an almond that's the good stuff look you don't want to drop almonds almonds are the good stuff my big boy how did you hold up with the rain it's okay what happened what happened what are you scared of there's nobody there Got strawberries in there, apples. My big boy. He's got strawberries, apples, and mosquito here. What happened? What did you hear? What did you hear? I don't know what he. Oh, maybe he's listening to the blower. I hear it like somebody with a blower, but it's coming that way. Buck, it's not here. It's okay, baby. It's okay. You're okay. I promise you. You're okay. Come here, baby. It's okay. You're okay. You want it in your bucket now? Really? Now he wants it in his bucket. Because of that sound that he's hearing. All right. I'll put it in your bucket. I'll make you happy. I'll make you happy. You want your bucket? There you go. There you go, right here. Okay? You make a boy. You make a boy. Yeah, yeah, you make a boy. He's like, stop touching me, mom. Let me just eat. When Buck is hungry, he does not want to be messed with. I noticed that. Like, while he eats, he does not want to be messed with. Which I don't blame him. All right, this is the chipmunk that was on my side. You forgot more peanuts, chipmunk. I don't know what happened to Simon, guys. I've been watching and waiting. Simon, I feel like, comes late. Because Simon is used to me coming here at 10. So I've been coming here at 9 a.m. Okay. Oh, I had a sneeze. All right, I'm going to sit back down. I'm going to sit back down over here. Ugh, okay. I threw the rest of the peanuts on the ground. Just in case Simon comes, he can enjoy it. It's pretty nice out. It's not too hot or humid or anything. It's like breezy outside. We just had a really bad rainstorm yesterday. Oh my God, it was so windy. And like thundering and downpouring right after 
I fed Buck, literally it happened. It started drizzling while I was feeding Buck dinner yesterday. And then once I started walking to my house, I started seeing the lightning come in and all that stuff. And I was like, oh my God. And I ran inside, I was, cause I'm scared. When it comes to thunder and lightning, I'm a big chicken. I will not stay outside. I've been scared since I was little. I always been scared of lightning and thunder. Red is here. Hi Red. Hi pretty boy. Yeah, there's peanuts for you. And somebody's enjoying peanuts over here. You got the peanut. So we got a few little ones here with, at the spot. Oh, Red, you're singing? That's Red chirping right now. You're singing, Red? Yeah. Who's a pretty boy? Yeah, you are. He's singing. He's so cute. That's what he does. He chirps. And Buck is dropping the corn right now from his mouth. So funny. The chipmunks will be collecting the corn that he drops. Yeah, so the weather was very horrible. So even if I did have my phone, like let's say if I didn't forget my phone and I had it, I wouldn't be able to even record a video because the weather was just so horrible yesterday. For his breakfast, literally same thing. Once I fed him, it started raining like in between while I was feeding him the breakfast before I left to go to Dot. I was like, oh man. The weather was horrible. I felt so bad for him yesterday because it was so windy. I seen the trees blowing back and forth and I was like, oh my God. I was like, I hope my boy is okay. I hope he's laying under a good tree where it's not going to fall or anything. Like when it rainstorms like that, I always think about him, you know? I always think in my head, like, please God, make sure he's okay. I get worried for him when it rains like really, really bad. But he's okay because he's here. He's standing. He's okay. And he looks good. Right, Buck? You look good, baby. What happened? I feel like he's trying to tell me something. What happened? What happened, Red? Red came so close. Yeah, Red, you wanted a peanut? Red wanted a peanut. That's why he came close. This girl right now is probably excited. He's like, yes, I'm getting all the peanuts. The Blue Jays are not here. Well, Bluey and his friends came earlier when I got first guy here. I threw them some peanuts. You're okay, Buck. Nobody's around. He's on extra high alert this morning. I think the weather made him like a little bit like, baby, you're okay. Mommy's here. Nobody else is here. And my son's doctor visit yesterday at the doctor went great. He now weighs 13 pounds and he's 23 inches long. The doctor said he's doing amazing. He's growing. He had to get shots yesterday. I make my husband hold him at the doctor when he has to get his shots. I can't, I don't have it in me. I just, I don't have it in me because when he starts crying, I want to grab him and like, you know, pull him away from the doctor. So I told my husband, I was like, you have to do it. I was like, you have to hold him. I was like, I can't do it. I was like, I'll take him after. Like after the shots, I'll hold him. But my husband, he's good with him with that. My husband, he's like, he's good. Like he's able to calm the baby down or keep him calm before his shots. I have to say my husband for a first time father, he's a really great father and husband. Like my husband's always like, he's so good. on my screen yes i'm sorry that i didn't make videos yesterday but like i said every time i've got a bit i can't make a video because something pops up or you know something happens or whatever i will always post it i always post it i always let you guys know you know i don't want to leave this hanging like that because i don't usually use it to my daily videos you know the breakfast and dinner and then he's probably like hey what happened to her videos why she didn't post so i don't want you thinking anything happened so that's why i like keeping you all updated of why like you know i wasn't able to post yeah, and yesterday I forgot my phone literally on the side door panel of my husband's car. My husband's like, you never put your phone in there. How the hell did, why did you put it in there? He's like, you usually keep it like in your purse or next to you. I was like, I don't know. Well, maybe put it in there. Because then we both forgot about it, you know, about my phone. But I have the iPad at home, but I have the iPad Pro. It's like the really big one. You know, the really, really big one. It's like that. It's like the biggest iPad you could buy, for example. 
so I don't bring that out with me because the screen is already a little bit cracked so I was like I don't want to bring that how am I gonna hold a big and fuck is probably gonna be scared if I hold a big thing in front of his face like that I was like no I can't do it there's no way not with the iPad <laughs> if it was the iPad mini I would say okay I would have done it but guys my iPad is like literally the size of like a small laptop there's no way the, the screen is like 12 point something inches so it's too big, you know, to bring out here to make a video like that. If it was a small iPad, I would have been able to do it. But I have YouTube on my iPad and I have it connected with my account that I make my videos with. Because sometimes I watch my own videos through my iPad just to make sure like, you know, everything came out good. I didn't mess up on anything or like, you know, like say a bad word I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> like I just like watching my own videos sometimes. But I'm crazy because what I do is I don't even watch my own videos like when I'm done with this video I won't watch it I'll just post it first let you guys watch it first were you leaving me already fuck you leaving me already come here big boy he's leaving me already guys all right oh, okay he's going to check out because my father-in-law threw trimmings there where he's walking right now my father-in-law threw trimmings there that's where, that's the trimming pile goes, is right there where Buck is standing. You see my father-in-law throws all the trimmings, like things that he, like the trees, leaves. And we got a little chipmunk over here. But I missed you guys. Like I miss making a video for you. Like I feel like every day, like when I make my video, I feel like I have you all like standing next to me or something and I'm talking to all of you. Look at the squirrel running down the tree. Wait, that might be the squirrel from last year, guys. I named one of them Rocky. The one that had, um, or Lucky. No, Lucky was, okay, Lucky was the one that had a scar by his neck. So I'm wondering if that's Rocky then from last year. Because one of the squirrels from last year, they had a scar on their side, like by their stomach. And I named him Rocky. Now I'm thinking that's probably the same squirrel that came from last year. Wow. Buck, what are you doing, baby? He's over there just checking everything out. It's mosquitoes, really? Oh, I'm going to spray you. Oh, I just sprayed it. I just sprayed the mosquito. Thank God for the neem oil. The neem oil actually helps me, too. Like, it keeps the bugs away. My big boy. Where's my big boy? Come here. Look, I haven't gotten kisses from you in a long time. Come here. Come here. Yeah, come here. Come here. Come here, my big boy. You see, that's why ears are not like dogs. <laughs> they won't always listen to you or, like, walk up to you. It has to be on their time. You notice how sometimes Buck literally just walks up to me and gives me a million kisses? It has to be his time. Like, if I want him to do it, no. It doesn't work that way. It's all up to him when he wants to do it. I noticed Buck's been giving me less kisses because I haven't hung out with him like long like I used to. I used to stay with him for hours and I feel so bad because now I stay with him for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes like that at the most. When my husband's home and he's off and he's off from work, I stay with him for a half hour. Like on Saturdays, I'll stay out here with him for a half hour for breakfast and dinner. I miss hanging out here with him, just staying here all day, but it's hard, you know, I have a baby. And I don't know how Buck is going to react with Mike. Because my son is very verbal. Like, he's very, like, you know, he does the baby talk and the goo goo gaga when he gets excited. And he kicks his legs. So I don't know how Buck is going to be around my son. I don't know. But I will introduce Buck probably the end of August. Like, you know, when the bugs start getting a little, it starts getting a little better and not so buggy. You know? Then I can introduce Buck, Buck to my son. But right now, I don't want to take my son to the spot over here. It's just too many bugs. Too many. And there's these little mosquito gnats that, like, they will bite you through your clothes. I have this stroller net, but I feel like sometimes I never put it on perfect where, like, you know, it covers that the stroller is, like, secure, secure like that. The bugs can't go in there. So that's why I get nervous about bringing my son here. But eventually, soon, Buck will meet him. I don't know how he's going to react to him. I have a feeling he's going to be scared of the stroller. That I have a feeling. 
Come here, big boy. Come here, mommy missed you. I was thinking about you last night. I was thinking about him because when the rainstorm, I couldn't believe it, how windy and like, my gosh, it was raining like cats and dogs. Like, you know, when people say it rains so hard that it rains like cats and dogs, literally it was raining hard like that. Like it was just so, oh my God. But I pet his head. I touched his head before in his face. It feels dry. So he's dry. He dried up. All right, everyone. I will be back later this evening with Buck's dinner video. This time I got my phone. And I'm not forgetting it anyway because I'm, I'm home with my phone. I'm not going anywhere. So I won't be forgetting it anywhere. I'm telling you, mom brains, when you're a mom, you forget things more. It's crazy. I used to be good at remembering things and I forget things more. I think it's because I have so much on my, not on my plate, but like, you know, I try to make sure everybody in the house is good and everybody outside is good. So I try to, it's like I have so many open tabs in my brain of like what I have to do that that's how I end up forgetting like one or two of the things that I have to do. But I will be back later this evening. I hope everybody has a great day. It's cloudy, the weather here. I don't. I think it's supposed to rain on and off, but not like yesterday. I'm hoping it doesn't rain like yesterday because yesterday was crazy. It was just so weird. It was like raining and then the sun will come out after like an hour. Then it will rain again. It's, the weather was just crazy. It was like a sunny, stormy day. It was very crazy. And thank God I don't see any of those creepy bugs that creep me out. I'm not going to say the word because I feel like they're going to pop up if I talk about them. All right, I'm gonna get going and end this video. If Buck does walk up to me and gives me kisses, I'll record a short video and I'll post it. <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna hang out here another two, three minutes after this video. We'll see what he does. But I will be back later this evening. Ciao for now.